What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut. Today I got a nice little interesting video for you. A while back, it had to be maybe a few weeks ago, I started taking part in uh, what everybody called the Assumption Challenge. The Assumption Challenge being, you basically upload a picture and people make assumptions about you on that picture. This was actually on one of the Facebook pages I follow uh, to promote my YouTube stuff. So, without further ado, the picture that I uploaded is actually going to be seen right here. Now, feel free to comment in the comment section below what you would assume about me from that picture that you see on the screen. But for right now, I'm going to show you some of the comments that I got from the Facebook page. Now, you're going to see the comments pop up on the screen. And I'm going to probably blur out the names because I don't want to take the chance of, you know, oh, why are you using my name? Blah, blah, blah. You know, bullshit. Anyway, here's the first one. I assume you like German sausage. I got nothing on that. <laughs> Some of these are going to be pretty tame, and some of them are going to be, like, extremely fucking asinine. Anyway, as far as that assumption, I actually haven't had a uh, German sausage, and I'm 90% sure he's going, like, an extremely fucked up route on it. But just to be safe, I haven't tried... <laughs> I haven't tried German sausage, so what the fuck am I going to fucking make a comment on that? Next one. Alright. So this one says... Quiet. Very kind, but have a slight dark side about you. That I can't quite put my finger on. Shy, but with good reason. Think a lot and avoid situations based on your instinctive thoughts. You used to do boxing or some sort of martial arts. Alright. I'm trying to figure out where to start with this. Because this guy tried going full-blown psychological on me on this. Now. A lot of people that know me, I... Unless I really know you, I'm quiet. I'm usually kept to, I usually keep to myself aside from uh, the YouTube stuff that I'm putting out now. This is actually the most social I am that's not along with people, but this is like video content. Now, yeah, I might be looking down. I'm just reading over the comment just to make sure I touch base on every detail just so I'm not freaking losing anything here. Uh very kind. A lot of people some people would a lot of people would be able to say that I'm kind enough. Uh have a slight dark side about you that I can't quite put my finger on. I wouldn't necessarily say dark side, it's just the demeanor that I have, and I couldn't tell if my fucking hair was fucked up, but it's the fucking lamp. Shy, but with good reason. I can easily say that is actually true. I do tend to be a loner within certain company. It's just the way I've been. Think a lot and avoid situations based on your instinctive thoughts. That's actually pretty dead set on accurate. Because, again, as I mentioned, I... The best way to put it, I've, I've studied psychology. I got my degree in psychology, so a lot of it's basically thought-related, how the mind works and everything, and I do spend a lot of time thinking about a lot of shit. As far as avoiding situations, I try my best to. As far as if it's something that I know isn't going to be to my liking. You used to do boxing or some sort of martial arts. Now, here's a little tidbit of info that a lot of people don't know about me readily. In high school, I did wrestle for a bit. It was only for like a year, and it wasn't really like to my liking. I'd done backyard wrestling, which was just mainly like a small YouTube thing outside of this that I had enjoyment in. 
And when I was younger, I took a couple of martial arts classes, but it wasn't anything that stuck and nothing I went followed through with. You look like a vigilante who goes after the bad guys. You never know. Now this one... This one seemed like they were going for blood. <laughs> So, here's what they said. You look like one of those guys who act entitled and think that people owe him everything and wonder why girls don't like him. And she followed it up with, I'm sure you're not really like that, but from this photo alone, that's what I get. Pictures are up for, for interpretation. <laughs> I'm probably the least entitled guy out there, at least to my opinion, depending on certain circumstances. And as far as thinking that people owe me everything and wonder why girls don't like me, I mean, I'm not a big fan of most people to begin with, so there's always that. But I appreciate the uh, little touch up at the end there where it's like, oh, I'm sure you're not like that, but just, uh, pictures are open for interpretation. Okay. <laughs> this is where, this one, <laughs> give me a minute here, because I, 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 the more I read this, the more it just, <laughs> all right. You have definitely masturbated in public at least once. Also, you wear the same underwear on three separate days or more without washing. No. Just, just, just no. Next person reads, I think you keep to yourself mostly. As I previously mentioned, I do. Okay, the next one. You used to listen to ICP. Funny thing with this is, I have never listened to a single song from the Insane Clown Posse, ever. I'm aware of who they are. I'm aware of the style of music that they that they put out. I've just personally never listened to the Insane Clown Posse ever. <laughs> but that's actually a very, very off assumption of the picture that I put up because it was just literally as you saw earlier it was just a picture of me wearing a hood all right the last one now this one I the spelling was off and I'm gonna read it exactly as it's as it reads as it looks that you're bolding that's why you have your hood up that you don't know whether to smile or keep a straight face for that tough guy look. Now, I can tell you exactly when I took that picture. It was when I was on my way to a job orientation and it was like nine o'clock in the morning. It was cold as balls. And as you can tell, I'm not bolding or bolding as they were trying to go for. And the other thing, as far as me not smiling in the picture, a lot of the pictures I take, I don't tend to smile in. And it's not even for any particular reason. I just choose not to. It's not even that I have messed up teeth or anything or I have a bad smile. I just choose not to smile in my pictures. At least in depending, on the, depending on the company and depending on what... The whole reason why I didn't smile in that particular picture is because it was 9 o'clock in the morning, I was tired, and I didn't want to fucking be on the ferry on the way to Manhattan. <laughs> but the tough guy look wasn't necessarily intentional either. Well, anyway, that was all the comments that I got from that, uh, that, fe that comment feed from the Assumption Challenge. If you guys have any assumptions based off that picture, leave it in the comment section below. And if there are enough of them... I'll make another video following up on it just for your for the YouTube comments. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave a like. And definitely share the video. Help me get my name out there. Help me build up 
an or help me build up more of an audience. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Please feel free to check out my previous video and also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also check out my gaming channel. Hey, and remember, support your small channels.